first up, Metallic Buterin Mits ETH 2.0 is much harder to implement than he, than he expected. And when I saw this, I was like, well, that's kind of a negative uh, type of thing to say, but uh, it gets interesting. So what's going on here? So Bitcoin maximalist Peter McCormick hosted Buterin and Blockstream's Samson Mao on his podcast show, What Bitcoin Did. And McCormick posed this question to Buterin. He says, do you ever feel like Ethereum has become a much more challenging project or idea than you originally envisaged, envisioned? And potentially you've bitten off more than you can chew. And that it gets to the point where there's no turning back. And uh, Vitalik said this, he goes, you know what? I freely admit that Ethereum 2.0 is much harder than we expected to implement from a technical perspective. So right there, I mean, if you're looking at it, you can look at it two ways. You can look at it someone who is just honest and just says, hey, this was a lot harder than we thought it was gonna be. Uh, or you can just look at it and go, oh, this guy's already defeated. Me personally, uh, I appreciate honesty. I appreciate when people can tell me, you know what, this is a little bit tougher than we thought. However, we realize that and we're going to push forward and we're gonna do this, this, and this. I can appreciate that type of talk. What I do not appreciate is when people behind the scenes are like, you know what, no problems, we're good to go, 100%, you can count on us, Jack, and then everything crumbles. Those are the types of things, as an entrepreneur, which crush me. And I gotta tell you, if I have more honest people, I will take the honest people all day long because then I can fix the problem, redirect, and move on. So with Buterin, I'm good with that. And then further on, he states, and this is the part that I think is uh, kind of bullish. He says, I definitely don't think that we discovered any fundamental flaws that make it impossible, and I think it will be finished. It's just a matter of time, and it's actually been progressing quite quickly lately. So right there, Fantastic. Let's see how it does. And then further on, it states, despite Buterin admitting that ETH 2.0 could face multiple bumps along the way, the off-delayed upgrade is inching closer to deployment. Ethereum developers launched Medela, which was the final testnet before the main launch later in the year, which is coming uh, in November of this year. So we're looking at a couple months away. According to Buterin, the development was quite exciting and will introduce phase zero of ETH 2.0. 0, which will bring about the proof of stake consensus algorithm very exciting stuff uh, but it just so everybody knows it doesn't include sharding and that's going to happen in phase one so right now they're just going from proof of work to proof of stake which i think is a plenty big project to get out in front of and i wish them all the best and then lastly it states the ethereum creator estimates it will take a couple of years to fully complete the eth 2.0 roadmap so Again, if you're just into this space, you have to understand how super early you are. This is a long game, my friends. It's a long game. There's going to be peaks and valleys. There's going to be ebbs and flows. Uh, but I see only bright things on the horizon for Ethereum. And then, la and then the very last thing he says, something pretty smart. He says, although it's an awfully long time, he believes it's less time compared to the amount of time already spent getting to this point. So getting just getting here, all the way back in the early 2013, I think it was like, proposed 2014 2013 then it came about 2015 so i mean looking at five years and then he's like hey look to get us to our goal it's going to take another two but just to get to this point we're way ahead than where we were so great and i gotta tell you i believe in ethereum i believe because everything is built upon it it has a uh, highly active group of developers, highly active community and there's a lot of people doing a lot of things with ethereum so i believe in it and i also believe in cardano and i think one of those is going to, and not to win, but I think they're both going to be successful. And that's, when I actually take a step back and I look at it, I kind of look at like uh, Hoskinson and Buterin as kind of like the Steve Jobs and the Bill Gates uh, back in the 80s. Because those guys, if you were around those times, those guys really, you know, duped it out for superiority. So at first, you know, Bill Gates won. Uh, Microsoft took over everything. And then later on, uh, you see Apple everywhere. So I think there's room enough uh, for two of these types of players in the space. But again, only time will tell. And I think it's it's an interesting thing to, to think about. I mean, is that how you see it? Let me know in the comments section, but I kind of see it that way. That was interesting. However, on top of that, to build Microsoft, to build Apple, you got bumps along the way. So what's going on with this test net? Well, here's what's happening.